Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Lisa is going to finally do a color and chat. Woohoo! <laughs> it seems like I have been away from you guys for months and months. <laughs> and it has actually been a few weeks. If uh, you have subscribed to me for a while, you know that I am in the process of moving. And so I have been extremely busy and I do apologize. It has been a while since I got around to doing a color and chat. Um, and I am doing the color by number color along for the month of September, but I had promised way back when, <laughs> when I first got this book that I would color a picture out of this intricate mandalas coloring book by Jade Summer. I absolutely adore this book. Um, so I thought what I would do first is do a picture out of this intricate mandalas. I am going to color with my glitter gel pens and I thought what I would do would be get out my um would be get out oh boy can't talk today already this is going to be a good one. <laughs> my sergeant art glitter gel pens you can buy a pack of 10. Um, i believe i've seen these in walmart um, you may be able to get them at your craft stores i bought mine on amazon they are quite inexpensive i will link these down below and the reason why i got this 10 pack is because you can buy sets of 25 of the colors by itself um, pretty much every color in that set of 10 you can get in a set of 25. Matter of fact, if you want even more, you can buy them in a set of, oh my gosh, how big is that one? A hundred and some, I think. So Sergeant Art does have sets by color out there, which I just love. So of course I had to get a set of purple. But yeah, you get a box of, you know, 25 gel pens. I wish for the sake of not having to throw too much in the landfill. I wish they offered just sets of 25 refills rather than all new pens, but they don't. I contacted them and no, it's just the sets of pens themselves. So I will link um, one of these down below too, in case you're interested in purchasing just a specific color like me. I go through these purple ones quite fast. I also go through pink quite fast and unfortunately pink is the one color they do not have as a separate color that you can purchase and I contacted them about that too and they're like uh, well if it's not available it's not available it's out there but it says currently unavailable and I've been watching and I have not seen it available yet so oh gosh I did have one picked out um, oh I think it was this one for us to do. Now, as I start coloring on this picture, I'm going to be talking about possibly a few changes that are going to be coming to my channel. Um, and I do want your feedback on each thing that I talk about. So I want to pick out some colors first. Let's just start out with my favorite two colors, which is purple and pink. Yes. All right, let's zoom you in. All right. So the first thing I guess I want to talk about before I get on to excuse my nails if they're kind of, I clipped them all off, but they're, you know, all the cleaning and all that stuff. And now I came down with a nasty cold. You would think with all the cleaning and disinfecting and things that I've been doing in this house, there wouldn't be a germ left in it. So I had to have picked this up from somewhere outside the house. Because I don't think there's any, like I said, I don't think there's any germs left in this house. <laughs> uh but it is starting to break loose. So earlier in the week, I was, oh, I would wake up and my sinuses would just be pounding, you know, to the point where your teeth hurt. You know? uh, but yeah, now it's, it's, I believe it's starting to break loose. So that's good. But anyhow, some of the things that I am thinking about doing with my channel, at least for the foreseeable future, 
um, because I am so busy with, uh, you know, now that the house is all clean and we do have it on the market, we do have to periodically be out of the house um, for showings. We've had a couple showings, um, but uh, nobody bid on it yet or put an offer in, I should say. Um, and now tomorrow we are having an open house. I was going to do some recording tomorrow afternoon, but now we have to be out of the house all afternoon. So, yay! <laughs> it means we have to take Bella and find somewhere to go for, you know, the afternoon. So, Bob had a great idea. She needs a haircut so bad anyhow. So, I did manage to get her in with her groomer. The only time I could get her in, though, was at 12.30. Um, and the showing for the house is from 2 to 4. So, we'll have to find somewhere to go for well, about 4 hours. Bella will be at the groomer's for a few hours, so that helps. Because she is just a nervous nilly when she gets in the vehicle. She is just, you know, you have some of those dogs who just cannot wait to get in that car and go for a ride. Bella's the opposite. She absolutely hates it. And she knows before we even get out the door. I don't know how she knows, but she knows. She's going in a vehicle and she starts shaking and by the time she gets in the car she's panting away and oh it's horrible. So to have to go with her anywhere is not fun. Okay, what do we want to use for the background color? Let's use blue. This is a really pretty blue. I, I like the blue that they put in this set. It's a pretty like aqua kind of blue. Okay, so the thing that I am thinking of changing, you know in the past, whenever I colored a picture, I colored it from start to finish on camera. And whether that took a half an hour, whether that took three hours, <laughs> um, I colored it all on camera, usually as one long color in chat. I had this one epic long one that was actually four hours. Um, but I am thinking, just so I can get some content out to you guys, I am going to start doing color and chats that are about a half an hour long, between a half hour, 45 minutes, whatever. You know, I'm not saying, oh, it's half hour, gotta go. <laughs> Wherever there is a good breaking point, I guess. Um, and that is, again, just so I can get some content out to you because trying to sit down and set aside a couple of hours to do not only the color and chat itself but then getting it into the editor and editing it and saving it that all takes time and then you have the uploading to YouTube and of course that takes time so it the longer the video gets the longer everything else gets and uh, so yeah um, let me again know your thoughts on that um, because the other thing I am thinking about due to the fact that I am in the color by number color along um, that I am co-hosting with Zoe Archer and Nikki and Niagara um, I want to get out uh, a few color and chats doing a color by number. And if my videos are only going to be like a half hour, 45 minutes, if I colored the entire picture on camera in, you know, separate parts, separate half hour parts, I would probably only get 
a couple of pictures done for the entire month. <laughs> Um, so the other thing that I was thinking of doing is I would start the picture on camera and color for, yeah, half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. And then I would finish the picture off camera. I don't like doing that. I always enjoyed coloring the whole thing with you guys and just, you know, talking about whatever. Um, but again, I think due to my limited time right now, it would just work out easier for me, anyhow, if I kind of broke them up into like, you know, half hour, 45 minute segments. And uh, again, I hope this is all okay with you guys. I know it is my channel, but... It is your channel too. I I make all these videos for you guys, so um, I kind of want to do what you guys want to do. So I do want your input, and if you feel that that's not going to work for you, um, or I should say you would prefer the old way. Um, I will still probably put out about the same amount of content um, in general. It just will be fewer videos. So I may, you know, only have one color and chat a week versus, you know, having a number of shorter ones throughout the week. So yeah, those are my thoughts for some changes. Like I said, this may be permanent or once we find a new place, once we sell this place and I get settled into my new coloring area, which I'm hoping is going to be set up a little bit better than what I have right now because I have my my desk, my recording area over here, and then all my supplies and all my books are over in another room. So moving, you know, may be a good thing um, that uh, I can have, you know, a true craft room possibly <laughs> to put all of my stuff together. Okay, we're going to see if we can color this all in just these three colors. If you've ever seen me color before, you know that I love my limited color palettes. So we'll see. Um, we may have to throw another color in here because I do not like putting the same color next to each other. Like I would never put blue right up here because of the blue right here. So I'm just kind of weird like that. So yeah, we'll go, you know, anywhere between half hour, 45 minutes today. Um, I have a few other videos I want to record today yet. So yeah, today's will probably be like maybe a half an hour. And then I will finish this picture off camera and you will see it at the end of the month when I show my completed pictures. And then the next color and chat that I want to do is going to be a color by number color and chat. I received so much positive feedback from you guys that, oh yay, you're doing a color by number color along. <laughs> so that must mean there are a lot of color by number fans out there i know i love them and i think the first one that we are going to do and i believe a number of you people have this book let's see do i have it here i know i have it somewhere oh i think it's right under my ipad over here no that's the one that's the non oh no this is um, let me zoom you back out a bit. The World of Mice color by number book. Um, 
I had received this from Sun Life Drawing and you know we all love Sun Life Drawings books. So I am going to pick a picture out of here and we are going to do a color along out of World of Mice color by number. So yeah I am hoping to do that color and chat this weekend sometime too. I don't know, maybe tomorrow night after we get back from having to disappear from the house for a while. <laughs> after the, uh, after, okay, let's zoom back in here. After um, the open house tomorrow. I sure hope there are people that stop in. That would be awful of, you know, my real estate agent setting this all up and then nobody coming wouldn't that be horrible <laughs> the first person that wanted to see the house oh my heavens he was a younger guy he was a real estate agent himself um for a another realtor uh another real realtor company yeah another real estate company other than who my realtor is through and uh, but he still of course had to schedule the showing through my realtor because she's the one who's selling the house for me and uh, so he requested no is this weird or what I thought it was kind of strange he wanted us to be gone he requested the showing for, let me zoom in just a tad more, um, 3.30 to 4.40. Now, an hour and 10 minutes. Number one, that's an awful long time for a house showing. I know when Bob and I go and look at a house, you know, we're there maybe 15 minutes. So to want over an hour, I'm like, okay. You know, I thought it was because he had mentioned, he stopped in and talked to me and I said, well, you do have to go through so-and-so, um, you know, my realtor. And he's like, oh yeah, I understand. And he did finally get in contact with her. And uh, he had said something about uh, him and his fiance are looking for a place in Marathon. And I thought, ooh, awesome. You know, that sounds promising. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, Bob and I disappeared with Bella for over an hour. And then we get back and I asked my realtor, you know, if they liked it, if they didn't, you know, what they didn't like, what they did like. And so she contacted me and oh my heavens this guy went over this house with a fine tooth comb it's no wonder he asked for over an hour to look at everything I mean even after I was told about some of these things I went and looked and I still couldn't hardly see him like for instance I have a great big uh it's like a stone wall that separates the living room from this room, which is supposed to be a family room. And in that stone wall is a double-sided fireplace. And he said, and this is just one thing that he pointed out. He said that there were cracks up near the ceiling indicating a bad grouting you know somebody did a bad job and I went up and I looked and I could barely see what he was talking about I don't know how the heck he seen that so every little bitty thing that is wrong with this house he pointed out and I'm like I hope to God he never shows my house to anybody well he probably wouldn't because he obviously doesn't think this house is worth what I'm asking. But I really hope he doesn't spread that word out like, you know, don't go look at her house. This and this and this is wrong. 
Well, I don't know what he expected. A brand new house for this price? I mean, to have brand new cupboards and brand new windows and, you know, brand new flooring throughout the house would have added like a good, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 onto the asking price. And so, yeah, I, I don't know what he was expecting, but uh, obviously not this. So, yeah, I, I was disappointed to say the least and uh, kind of bummed out that, you know, he found all that wrong with the house. But, uh, and then the people that came, we had people that came and seen it, was it yesterday, I think? And yeah, there are some things that are outdated. Um, the downstairs has a huge family room. It runs the entire length of the house and half of the house. I mean, it's half finished. And the carpet down there is outdated. Would cost an absolute fortune to update that carpet. So I thought, I'm not doing that. I would have no idea what kind of carpeting in the first place that they would want. And yeah, I just don't have that kind of money to stick in the house. And again, it would just raise, you know, the asking price of it too. But uh, so, you know, they did make the comment and rightly so, you know, that some of the things were, you know, a little outdated. And uh, plus they were, this is their first house, I guess. And they were looking for a master bedroom with a master bath attached and it's like uh nope don't have that in this house it's right next door you know you come out the master bedroom and you could pretty much reach <laughs> the bathroom door but yeah they wanted an attached so but they loved the layout of the house. They loved all the bright light that came in in the living room and dining room from the big windows facing the north. So they are going to keep the house in mind but are still going to look further. So. so at least, you know, we got some positive comments from them. Um, unlike the other guy I'm like oh my heavens yeah I was I was pretty disheartened I must admit and uh, it's like oh my heavens are we ever gonna sell this place are we ever gonna find a place that we want I found a place I just I absolutely loved it was in our price range and everything inside this house was brand new they just replaced all the kitchen cabinets i think it was somebody that bought the house because it was bought in december last year and so i think they're just flipping it you know they uh are uh you know they just put all new stuff in bought the house for cheap and now they're selling it for more but it is just gorgeous inside like I said, all new cabinets, all new, brand new stainless steel appliances. You know, all the tags are still hanging on the appliances. All brand new carpeting and uh, wood flooring. And the downstairs was finished with this really nice plush carpeting too. I mean, it was just, that was going to be my coloring area. <laughs> It would have been just perfect. And uh, windows were all brand new. The roof was redone. I mean, oh, just everything. And uh, so we did put a bid on that one, an offer. And we even, our bid was even uh, 5000 more than what they were asking because I really wanted it. The living room and the bedrooms were a little bit on the small side, but it would have been big enough. And uh, so, yeah, we really wanted it. And like I said, we bid 5000 more 
than what they were asking and they had I guess quite a few offers to contemplate and go over they were supposed to let us know by three o'clock well three o'clock came and went I'm you know sitting on pins and needles and so by I think it was six o'clock still hadn't heard anything so I contacted my realtor and I said no word yet huh and she said no I haven't heard anything and so yeah didn't hear anything that night and I'm like oh had to go to bed not knowing whether we got that house or not well bright and early the next morning Rhea texts me my realtor to let me know that with all the offers it came down to us and one other person so we were definitely in the running and the offers were very similar so they must have offered more too than asking price and maybe the same offer I don't know but because we had that contingency on our buyer's agreement you know that we have to sell this house they opted to go with the other offer and you know I can't blame them one bit you know it was a person you know that had flipped this house and of course wanted it occupied as soon as possible and uh, you know I get you know if I had two offers that were similar and one had a contingency on it and one didn't you know common sense is gonna tell you you're gonna take the one without the contingency in it so yeah I was really bummed out about that too I know patience Lisa patience I don't have any patience none zippo <laughs> when I want something I want something now oh man oh man you know so it's like oh between trying to sell I'm sorry if I'm flipping you guys all around <laughs> when I color mandalas I gotta turn everything around hopefully you're not watching and you're coloring um, you know between wanting to sell this place so bad for you know asking price or even a little less than asking price so that I have enough equity in the house to be able to put down a nice down payment on you know the new house um, you know between selling this and trying to find a relatively nice place for us to move to it's like oh so yeah my anxiety level has just you know yeah anybody that has anxiety knows what I'm talking about and then I have major depression and while that is maintained quite well with medications I do have a tendency of my mood going you know kind of up and down real fast kind of I do have some bipolar so I've been having a little of that going on not total mania and then you know like I said it's still controlled by the meds pretty good but with everything going on it's I guess is understandable that some of that is happening <laughs> oh I think it would happen to anybody that you know even if they don't have a condition if you want to call it that a problem so but we'll see we'll see what tomorrow's open house shows we had over uh, Labor Day weekend last weekend is always we call it marathon fun days it's like um, our fair um, 
you know, with the rides and the games and the beer tent. <laughs> we didn't even go down for the fireworks this year. We didn't go down and get cheese curds or anything. Nothing. We weren't down there once. And I think I'm going to just color these at the same time so I'm not flipping you around too much. But a friend of Bob's that he works with, who also lives here in town, was down at the fun days and he said a lot of people were talking about the house for sale. <laughs> I said, oh, they were, huh? I told them to come on up. Because... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's not much for sale in this town at all. And you should have seen my neighbor's eyes go up when <laughs> the for sale sign went up in the front yard. They're all like, what? What's going on? Why are you moving? Well, you see, it's like this. <laughs> Just want to get something a little smaller, a little cheaper, a little less taxes. That alone adds so much to my house payment, just the real estate taxes alone. And I don't, you know, every area of the country is, is different, just like your housing costs are, you know, they're so much higher out in California than they are here. You know, my house would would probably cost, you know, six, seven hundred thousand or something like that. You know, we're here, it's, you know, under two hundred thousand. But anyhow, so my taxes, I feel, are a lot for my house. I pay about four thousand a year just in taxes. And yeah, around here, that's quite a bit. So. You know, and Bob will say that to somebody and they'll say, well, if you didn't have the mansion on top of the hill. <laughs> it's like, yes, we're on top of the hill, but it's no mansion. It is a very nice house, I will admit, but it's no mansion. So, yes, keep me in your thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed that this open house tomorrow will prove fruitful. We will get an offer. You know, it's so disheartening every time, you know, you got to pack up and, you know, get out of your house for a while. And, you know, somebody comes to see it. And you, you know, quick straighten up. You know, you do have to live here yet. So there are a few things you got to put away each time. <laughs> Make the beds all nice and neat and put your little throw pillows out. <laughs> all that good stuff. You know, everything off the cupboard and make sure everything's in its place. The bathrooms still look nice. <sighs> Quick run of vacuum. All that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, then they don't make an offer and it's like oh darn it so yeah it's you know the moving parts bad enough but the trying to sell and buy at the same time you know trying to find a place to move to and trying to sell your existing home all at the same time is just it's rough and my heart goes out to any of you that have had to do this. <laughs> I have, this is the first time I've had to do both at the same time. And yeah, it's not easy. Especially when you're impatient like me. But we will get through it. I may still be here next year, but we will get through it. Uh, you know, I guess that's the one thing is that, you know, it's not like we're going to be out on the street next month if we don't find somebody to buy this place. But 
in the same breath if we find a house that we want to move to because I you know every day I'm out there looking to see what's available and you know if we put an offer in and it's accepted well yeah then naturally I want to get this house sold so we can get on with things so we shall see we shall just i know take it one day at a time lisa that is so darn hard to do though <sighs> so yeah unfortunately a lot of my color and chats are going to be on this subject <laughs> i hope i don't bore you guys to tears <laughs> Okay, I am going to leave this at this point. Um, we're just a little over half an hour, 35 minutes or so. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and finish this off camera. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> um, and then uh, the next color and chat we do is going to be a color along for the color by number color along. And again, we will color out of that World of Mice color by number book by Sun Life Drawing. So I thank you for joining me in on this color and chat. Again, this was out of Intricate Mandala's coloring book by Jade Summer. And we colored it with these Sargent Art glitter gel pens. And I will link everything down below, like I said before. So um, thanks again for joining me. I hope you liked this shorter version of my color and chat. And if you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific Friday. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys. <laughs>